It's Maritime Spook here, and uh, I got something very cool to show you guys. And <clears throat> if you remember back just a couple videos ago, guys, I did a video on the uh, UTK S4 survival knife uh, by Utica Cutlery Company out of New York. Uh, it's a USA made produced knife, just out of 1095. Just the epitome to me of what can be used on a coastal situation like where I am most of the time, and uh, you know, just anywhere's out on, you know. What I consider them guys, and some people may differ in opinion and stuff like that, is I kind of call them an expedition knife. And why I call them an expedition knife is a lot of the time it was, you're in kind of austere conditions when you're on an expedition, we'll say. Either there's a lot of wet or there's a lot of cold or there's a lot of combinations of wet, cold and, you know, wind and snow and all this stuff. And uh, there's actually a company that I know of that had made knives specifically called an expedition knife. When I look at these knives, that's the first thing that comes to my mind and uh you know survival knife expeditions it's all you know it's all relative guys so anyway guys what i'm going to do is show you the uh i showed you the utk s4 uh utica actually was cool enough to send the other two to compare them and be able to show and test and everything else for us here on the channel so i'm going to show you the other two knives here in the series at the beginning you would have seen a comparison of the three but the one I'm carrying today, as I said, is the uh, UTK S4. Love this thing, guys. Um, there's nothing I can really say that I don't like about it. I love the Ergos. I love how it's tough here on the beach. The only thing I did is this came, this cord comes with it with the knives, and uh, I ran it around the generous lanyard hole here and made myself a little, uh, you know, this is a rope stop here. So you can sit there and squeeze it down and uh give yourself a little bit of something like if you're working over water and stuff like that guys it's actually knife knife it's actually nice to uh have the knife you know connected you're not going to lose it so that was the only thing i did to it and other than that it served me very well out here guys i've had did a lot of different tasks with it and uh you'll see those in an upcoming video of some more testing of these knives but uh, absolutely love it so we're compared to the other two but the first thing i'm going to say guys uh on the first knife is uh <clears throat> There, this one here, uh, the UTK uh, S UTK S5, is basically the exact same knife as this one, but it's just like an inch, it's an inch larger. Um, they basically got the same spear point blade. You know, they've got the same attitude adjuster at the bottom, which I think is awesome. You know, for ice and for windows or just anything you got to get, you know, break kind of thing. Um, but same knife, same awesome sheath, guys. I love the sheath. This one has no rattle. It's you know, barely tiny little bit of rattle. Some people had asked about that. And the thing, guys, sometimes sheaths will have rattle in them, but if it doesn't affect the retention, then it's not a big deal to me. Um, so this one has barely any, just to let people know that. Uh, same fire steel setup. You know, same uh, pulls out fire steel here. And uh, pulls back in. And that also uh, works as your thumb, your thumb ramp to uh, actuate the knife out of the sheath. And I always get them twisted in there. They're going fine, but, you know, of course I can't get in there. Um excellent knife so i'll show you the comparison of the uh five to the four basically butt to butt as all things should be you can see guys basically same knife but uh you know the s5 has got an inch or so longer blade and uh you know width and everything i think is pretty well the same and uh, i'll find out about that if i'm wrong about it but you can see guys basically an inch longer so if you like this one and it was, you know, the four inch blade, but you're thinking, you know, I wanted something a little bit beefier as my survival knife. Because once again, guys, we're not looking at these as bushcraft knives. You know, they didn't allude to say this is, a, you know, the ab you know, absolute best bushcraft knife on the planet or anything. This is a survival knife, right? So if you wanted a little bit bigger blade, uh, the UTK S5, you know, has a little lar larger blade. And uh, it's just same thing. Awesome, awesome ergonomics. And, uh, you know, as I say, guys, just a bit larger of a knife. Okay, so very, very good knife. This is going to have its own round of videos and testing. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that stuff too as well. But as I said, guys, you know, just immaculate sheath and, uh, you know, fire starter, everything you need and a package right there to, uh, you know, expedition, adventure, the whole nine yards. Just a little bit bigger. Now, when you want to get into the big work or the big mamma jamma, or maybe this is your idea, uh, there's a lot of guys that if you're looking at a survival knife once again, they like the bigger blades, okay? I actually talked to a fella there earlier that was right on the, you know, right on the home stretch, right on the page of this knife. He just thought it was awesome. 
and uh, he's going to be definitely looking forward to the videos <clears throat> to see if it's something he's going to look into purchasing, which I think he'll end up purchasing it anyway, just because it's just, I know he's going to like it, we'll put it that way. He loved the S, he loved the 4, S4, so, you know, this is the UTK uh, B6, and the B6, the B is for uh, Bowie, so you got yourself a large Bowie survival knife. With a beautiful, beautiful kind of swedge on there. So, you know, survival task. But, I mean, if you're getting into combat with this thing, guys, you know, this thing is going to be one heck of a combat knife. The attitude adjuster is that much larger because it's a bigger knife. You know, just supreme ergos on this one, too, guys. You can get in with that choil, though, and do some fine work. And, uh, once again, this is going to have its own, you know, round of videos, testing, and everything else. And especially this one because it's so much different than the other two. Um, you know, it, it has a lot of the attributes that I really like about the series. But uh, it's just so much of a larger blade, guys. And uh, I'm sitting here with a smile on my face just looking at it because it is an, it's an awesome knife, guys. So I was super, super happy to uh, be able to take a look at this. So, uh, but same immaculate sheath, guys. This one had a tiny bit of rattle, but not, you know, retention issue or anything. Just tiny, tiny little bit, if any. You know. So, uh, no retention issues though. Same thing, fair seam rod, I believe, is the same size. But uh, you can compare this to the four, the one that I've already been using. And uh, as you can see, guys, quite a bit of difference. You know, a three for three inches. This is a seven inch blade uh, with a six and a half inch cutting surface. And uh, just, just an immaculate. So, I mean, the only reason it's not a six because it's a six inch blade, because it's actually a seven inch blade. Um, but it's just because it's you know four five six in the series, right? So you can see the size there Quite a bit different and we'll put it up against the five for a second But uh, you know gonna be about two inch different here instead of three Yep So you can see there with the five But same thing supreme supreme ergonomics guys just immaculate round of survival knives here for sure um, so like I said guys, stay tuned for some more testing and whatnot. Um, I'm going to get this one out and do some more testing of it, so it'll be a little bit down the pike. But I uh, just love these things guys, I'll tell you right now. They put a smile on my face and, uh, you know, just I just really like them. Uh, this one rides on the belt really well and, uh, you know, I'll show you that here in a second. We'll just uh, really quickly show you that the big one fits well too. What's up guys, so there's the uh, UTK B6 on the belt. I've got it kind of set up this way uh, in reverse grip, and that's just kind of the way I've been wearing it. I wore it a little bit earlier that way, and uh, just preference of mine. But uh, heck of a heck of a survival knife right there, guys. You guys are really, really going to enjoy um, any of these if you purchase one. So there'll be links in below to Utica Cutlery Co., guys, and you're going to see these more. Uh, some more videos with old spook here coming up. So stay safe, keep your stick on the ice, and stay tuned if you want to see some more of these guys because we're going to get out in the testing phase now. And uh, thank you to everybody, Utica Cutlery Co., and uh, everybody that supports Old Spook here. I appreciate it. Stay safe, guys.